Fantastic to have Ellie here. So give Ellie a round of applause and let's get it started. Here we go. Off you go, Ellie. Okay. So today, guys, um, I'm doing you... Well, I'm going to try and do you two things if we have the time to do it. Um, We're doing shoe buns with uh, two fill-ins. Um, I've got fresh fruit that is sponsored by Pro Colombia, and honestly, this is the best fruit I have tried in a, well since I've been the chef. Um, I tried it last week when I was at work, and it's the most sweetest thing you ever think. It's almost, it is like a passion fruit, but the seeds are so translucent, and you can have it on anything. So, you know, it's amazing for creme pats or even as a dessert tart as the top. But also, like if you push the seeds out and uh, natural thickness so if you reduce that down you can use it as a glaze or anything so for me it's it's amazing fruit and we've got dragon fruits here and passion fruits and we've got loads so today we're going to do a, a passion fruit mousse with mango salsa we're going to do coconut mousse that i've already made because we haven't got coconut at the moment with pineapple and then we're going to do some little tropical tarts we're going to do a creme pat and then we're going to fill it with mango and we're going to use these little beauties here which have, um, like, well, Sally. yeah, Goose I can't pronounce Chinese them. Lanterns. They're very hard to say, but these little ones are beautiful. They're very fresh, and they've got a delici- uh, delicious flavour. So um, to start off with, we're going to do shoe buns. So has anyone made a shoe before? I'm not a pastry chef, so I'm going to give this a go, guys. <laughs> so this is milk, water, and butter. You lo- you're just bringing this up to the boil. Then you're going to add all your flour, and you're going to cook the flour on the top, on here and literally you're just cooking it out so you can cook the flour out. You're gonna add this to the KitchenAid and then you're gonna add an egg at a time. Basically it incorporates the egg so you're not, you're not overcooking the shoe and it's not elasticated. And then we're gonna pipe them. Obviously it's gonna take more than half an hour to cook so I've already got them pre-cooked for you to try but I'm gonna show you how to do them. Right, Chantelle, if you wanna add the flour to this and then you're gonna gently add it bit by bit. Go on then. So it's great to get the students involved today. And Chantal was looking to get a job, actually. So, you know, brilliant to get the girl power involved and get the girl chefs out there. I think it's good anyway. So we're gradually adding the flour to this. It looks very lumpy at the moment. We're going to get a whisk. Keep going, Chantal. Basically, what you're looking for is like you're almost making a roux here. I think everyone's made like a bechamel at home. So it's the starting process of a white sauce or a monte. So you're literally just cooking out this flour now. Keep going. It's fine. It's going to get much thicker. And then it's, we're going to beat it in the KitchenAid. And then once, basically with the air from the KitchenAid, you're gradually getting it cold. So that's when we're going to start adding the eggs one at a time. And then we're using Bertha eggs. So the Bertha eggs are organic. So they're very... The yolk is very, very yellow, which you can see. It's a um, farm near Melksham, actually. It's near Lucknam, so we use it, and we use it for everything, creme brulees, custards, pasta. And you can see the difference between using a normal egg and organic one, which is here. So Chantel's cooking that out. As you can see, well, I don't know if you can see, but it's starting to get really thick. Just put the pan up a little bit, like that. So we're just literally cooking the flour, and then she's going to add it to the KitchenAid, and then it will start beating. Keep going. Yeah. While that's going to be, Chantel's going to make a creme pat. Has anyone made a creme pat before? It's pretty easy. It's just a custard. So um, we're going to have eggs and sugar. We're going to mix it up like a creme brulee. And then we've got three yolks and we have some milk on the stove, which we're going to infuse with vanilla. We're going to add that. We're going to put that on the stove. Well, we've got a big pan here, but I'm sure we can use this one. Yeah, that's fine. Add that to the uh, KitchenAid now. So we put that into there. That's fine, just put that behind. Right, so we're just going to gently beat this together. God, I'm nervous, so I can't even put this on. Huh? <laughs> so we slowly want to cool this down. And then, because it's too hot, if we add the eggs now, it'll be scrambled eggs. So we're just going to gently let that go in. Now, Chantel, if you put the sugar into one this, this bowl, yeah. this milk's going to come up to the stove. We're gently going to simmer that. We don't want to boil it because if you boil the milk, it'll burn. It's not a nice flavour. Okay, so you want to separate three eggs. So you just want the yolk. So put it into... I'll get your container. Here you go. Put it into there. 
So you want the yolk into that, yeah? So we're making a crème pat. So Chantelle's separating the yolks. There is loads of ways of separating eggs. I've put it in the bin. Just chuck it down there. So we're whisking up the yolks and the sugar together and she wants like a really nice, you make it like cream. The milk's coming up to the stove. Then once this is warm, she's gonna basically temper the eggs. So you're adding the milk a bit at a time. And then once that's tempered, you're gonna add that back to the stove, but you're gonna add the flour and the corn flour as well. You should have it all in your recipe somewhere. But basically we're just making a thick custard and that's gonna be the filling for the bottom of our tart. And then that's when we add all our fruits as well. Those mangoes are delicious from Pro Columbia. Yes. They're some of the nicest Very. mangoes I've tasted. You know, at work last week, I did have one to myself and I just ate the whole thing. I wouldn't even share it. So they're very nice. Okay, so put that. Give it to me, I'll take it. Yeah, so mix that together. That's it. Cream it together. No, you want to make sure the sugar's in creamed. So get, make sure you get it all on the sides. So this is gently coming up to the simmer now. And this is cooling down at the same time. So tell them a bit about you then, Ellie. What are you doing now? Um, so I'm sous chef at Lucknow. I've been promoted uh, two months ago. Um, I've been at Lucknow now for just over two years. Um, I've been, this is my third Michelin star restaurant. So I have been in Michelin for a long time. Um, if it's something that you want to do, you'll do it. It's hard work, but it's something I've always dreamed of. And I've, I want a Michelin star by the time I'm 28. So that's a dream of mine. But as a chef, if, you know, it's nice to see younger generations come in the kitchen because when I was younger, it was more, it was more boys or lads, whatever you want to say, and I was probably one, the only girl in the kitchen. Right, so now we're just adding this slowly. Continue just, yeah, yeah, continue. Oh. So we're just tempering the eggs now to give that whisk in. But now, yeah, we have three girls in the kitchen. Um, we have a lot of commies like 19 year olds they start in the brasserie and then the, once they've trained up or to chef is what they say they come over to the park but for me it's nice to see a lot more girls i went to gloucester college last week to do a a demo with them and there was about 15 girls and four boys mm -hmm. i was well happy i want them all to come work for me so girl kitchen right so we've missed them together Right, so now we're going to add the corn flour and the flour. So start whisking that in. Oh, Sorry. that's all right. Right, done that. We need a spatula wherever they are. Yeah. I've got, oh, sweet. So we're going to gently cook this on the stove. And then this is going to be the, f uh, yeah. Right. Okay, add that to that pan. And then you're gonna cook it on number one. Number two. So basically what we're doing now, it's almost like a ice cream. So we're gently cooking this on the stove. You don't wanna scramble it. If it's too hot, it's gonna scramble and it's not very nice. So Chantel's gonna keep stirring this and it will start to cook. And then we're gonna bag that up. Right, I'm gonna start adding the eggs to the shoe slowly oh right so while that's mixing we need to make a passion fruit mousse um i've made coconut mousse already so i'm going to make this one here normally we leave this to set for a few hours but i've already made some yesterday so it was easier for us to work with right so the recipe i've got 500 grams of cream I've got 350 grams of the puree that's already been blitzed with fresh passion fruits and then one gelatin leaf just to give that a, a stabiliser. So we're going to soak the gelatin now into the cold water. This passion fruit we're going to put onto the heat and literally we're just going to bring almost a third of it to the heat and that's just going to dissolve the gelatin into the whole mix. We don't want to do all of it because otherwise it's too hot and you're adding it to the cream, it's just going to split. So fingers crossed. Right, as you can see, the shoe's starting to come together. So I'm going to add another egg. It's, if you do it bit by bit, it's not going to split and the butter 
isn't going to incorporate out of the shoe. So you want this glossy texture. So we're doing quite a few things at once here. Right, what's that on three? Turn it down. Take all around the outside. Yeah. Let's have a look. So Chantelle, do you make creme patissier in college? We do have a pastry. Like yeah, I've done it. Here. Good. Oh God, I hope I've uh, passed the I test. Prefer, um, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right, so keep going. I'm going to turn this down a little bit. It's getting too hot. Okay. So for the fillings, we're going to do pineapple and coconut mousse. So the, po the coconut mousse is exactly the same um, recipe as what I did here, what I'm showing you now, but I've already made it. You're all going to have a tester. So the shoe bun, we pipe them, and then on the top we do like a little crackling crumble. So everyone's made a crumble before. It's equal quantities of butter, sugar, and flour. We mix that together, and then we roll it out between two pieces of paper and cut them out. So when we cook them, it's almost like a disc on the top, but we have silicone moulds which we pipe the shoe in, so they're exactly the same shape. They're all consistent, and none of them's different, or they're going to go higher than others. Um, so then we put this piece of crackling on the top, which I brought with me, so you can all see what we actually do at work. Because these are on the afternoon tea at the moment, so it's all about consistency when you get in a Michelin Park game. Park a legendary afternoon tea, yeah. don't they? So the perfect cylinder of the shoe, you put that on top of the shoe bun, and then when you bake it, 160 uh, two-bar fan at work on a rationale uh, for 22 minutes, they literally puff up. And do you want to grab the shoe buns that are already cooked, and I'll show them what it's like? And honestly, it's amazing. If you like pastry, which I love, you'll love this. Right, so you can see now the shoes gradually come together. I don't know if you can see it, but it's, it's better to slowly work it than go too fast. Oh, lovely. This is Prince, everyone? This is Prince. It's a cool right, name, so eh? guys, Prince. this is the shoe buns. As you can see, I cooked these yesterday before I came, drove up to London. So what we're going to do is put the filling on the bottom, which is the fresh fruit that Pro Columbia gave us, and then we're going to pipe the mousse on top, and then you're going to have that. So it's, it is very, it's divine. Do you want to cut these? Yeah. Thanks, darling. Right, how's your creme pat looking? Right, so this is gently warming. Yeah, that's perfect temperature. So now, with the gelatin, you always do it in cold water. Obviously, you don't do it in hot, it's going to melt. So when it gets to this texture, oh, it's almost loose. You're just going to put that into the puree and gently melt that down. And then as you can see, it's completely dissolving. So Ellie, I was reading that you're, what are you, 24 now? Well, no, actually, I'm 25. 25? Yeah. Oh, getting, getting, getting old Getting old, then. yeah. Getting old. And I read that by the time you're 30, you want to have your own restaurant. 28. 28, ah, yeah, I've only got three you knocked years. it down. Yeah. So hopefully, fingers crossed. I'm looking at leaving Lucknow next year, maybe do my own thing or going somewhere else. London seems to be the game at the moment, but we'll see. Right, so the rest of the puree, we're going to add to this. Obviously, this is cold, so it's going to help temper the hot one. We're just going to mix all that in, so you're literally making sure you're mixing all the gelatin in. Making sure that's incorporated. Yeah, I think it's more consistent. Because with, with powder gelatin, obviously, you can get it in a good dry store company, but sometimes different recipes count for more so if you use sheets and you've always used sheets they're always going to come out you're never going to have an issue um yeah so at work we use veggie gel a lot and that's a lot to set all our um bisque jellies or something like we use that more to wrap things around or we obviously agar agar is one but we tend not to use that but gelatin is we use it a lot in the kitchen I think it's brilliant. I need a whisk, yeah. Thank you. How long have I got? Okay, so the shoe bun's looking amazing. I'm going to get it sent round so you can see what it's all like. I will pipe some, but it's going to take 22 minutes and we haven't even got that anyway. So I just thought today I'll show you how we make it work. And then you can see 
as Ellie was saying about agar agar, agar agar, when you add it to desserts, it's normally used a lot in hotter climates. The reason for that is if you have... Do you want to show that to everyone? Beautiful. If you have um, a dessert, right, it okay. won't stand up. It has gelatin in it. That's the texture for when you're doing... That's why a lot of chefs so use agar agar. Um, it also has a higher setting property, so it sets quicker so, and for longer. The only thing you I have to do is to you have to boil it, it first so to I make it set. Away. Right, I'm so talking to buy her time then, that's yeah. what I'm doing. Off you go, Ellie. So, um, Chantel's just going to whisk the cream up for the mousse. So, which she's, she's whipping it up to semi-peak. And then we're going to add the, um, slowly add the passion fruit puree to that. It's going to be wet, obviously. That's why it takes t two hours to set up in the fridge. But that's why I've already made you all some yesterday. So creme pat's coming together now. And, and all the combination of what Ellie's doing is a fantastic combination with the Procombium's fruits, because the fruits go perfect with it, don't yeah. they? It's so fresh, the fruits talk for themselves, so you don't need to mess around with them. You need to let them just literally do its thing. Do we have another whisk? A little one, or...? Oh, right, okay. Oh. <laughs> we adapt. <laughs> don't do Overcome. this at home. <laughs> <laughs> so today we've done you well we've done some tarts as well obviously you've got the recipe on your card but it's literally a sweet pastry and um, you need to make it chill it ideally chill it in the fridge for a good half an hour let it rest so all the gluten's rested and then we we'll pipe the creme pat on the bottom of this obviously ideally we'd like this to be cold as well so i'm gonna to have to quickly get this iced quickly no, Ellie. two recipes on your seat tropical fruit tarts and shoe buns there you go you can make this at home it's really easily like the shoe buns you can set, uh, pipe it you can do it eclairs you can do different shapes like anything that's ideal for you or whatever you do at home i need that whisk how far are you ready you know, no, you need to keep going. Prince, are you ready with the shoe buns? You ready, Prince? You've lost him. He's run away. Are you ready, Prince? How's the buns? Two seconds, he says. Two seconds. Two seconds. So basically now, as you can see, I've cooked out the flour and the eggs. Afterwards, if you'd like to have a look over here, Pro Columbia has put some uh, leaflets out, and as I say, there's a few of these. I'm going to take one with me because I always I find out how handy yep, they are. Going, so thank you to Pro Columbia for that, and thank you for sponsoring this event, this particular demo today with Ellie. We're very, very grateful, and thank you for the quality produce. Yep. Yeah. Stop. 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 Oh. Right, okay, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Let's turn this off. Put that on there. Thanks. Right, do you want to put that into a piping bag for me? Oh, you're getting ready there, Ellie. I'm going to give a few okay. facts for um, Pro Columbia here. Avocados, Colombian avocado, so avocado yeah. exports have had an exceptional growth in right, the last couple of years. In 2016, the main importers of right. Colombian uh, avocados were the Netherlands had 47.5%, the United Kingdom had 10%, and Spain had 7.2%. So it just shows you they're fantastic avocados. Pineapple, Costa Rica pineapple. Costa Rica continues to lead the export market. Here's those beautiful pineapples, look. I feel as if I'm doing the salesman job here. But they are wonderful. And when you get the, when you get the quality of the fruits that are that sweet, oh, they're just delicious, aren't they? Yeah, so sweet. And these, what are these called again? They're called a grandilia. I think that's right. Can somebody pronounce it? Right. I know this baby <laughs> can pronounce it. Would you do the honours of pronouncing it correctly right, for Chantel, me? Right, Chantel. Go on. Right, so now we're going to do... 
Mango and some pineapple in there now. And then we're going to put the mousse on top. Granadilla. And then we're going to do the tart. Thank you very much. That's how you say it, and they they are wonderful. Yeah, so I'm going to do one, and then you're going to do the rest. So while the girls are piping those up, so any other TV or anything happening, Ellie? Um, not at the moment. Not at the moment? No. Decided to get back in the kitchen again, yeah? Yeah. Give it back to the kitchen at the moment. As it, well, it was four months filming, so it's a very long time. Long time, is yeah, it? I don't think people realise, do they, how long no, it takes? it's stressful. Right, so you're going to put mango in here? So, just, just, so just so you can explain, explain exactly what you're doing for me, Chef. Right, so the shoe we made, and then that would be piped in the oven, the crackling on top, there'd be cooked and then well just lightly cooled you're going to cut them in half so you have the bottom and obviously the top so um as pro crumbler was uh sponsoring the fruit i'm going to use mango and the passion fruit mousse which i've obviously made and then we're going to do pineapple and uh, coconut the coconut mousse is literally just with coconut puree so it's with fresh coconuts and fresh uh, puree that we've done at work so chantelle's going to add that to that Oh, These no, mangoes fine. are lovely, actually, aren't they? Yeah. Can Just put that in the it. fridge a minute. It's yeah. Lovely. When they're it's that lovely. sweet. Yeah. Can you just cut the bottom of that for me a minute? We we we, we like to encourage the students yeah, to take yeah, part. If you move. And Ellie them. wants to pass on knowledge and help. This is why we want the guys to do it. Instead of us interfering, it's very important that they learn and take the opportunities. And they're doing very well, aren't they? Yeah. Got to great. admit. Excellent. So well done. Thank you, guys. Like and then we put the top back on. Really nice. And then um, at the moment we've got a coffee um, ganache and we have a caramel mousse with the shoe buns at the moment. But you can do this with all flavours. It doesn't need to be passion fruit, it doesn't need to be mango, it doesn't need to be anything. It can be whatever flavour you want, cherry, chocolate, you know. So then obviously we're doing... Big enough. Yeah, that'll be fine. Hold that one a sec. And then we've got some with the coconut as well. They yeah, do look fun. lovely. Right, do you want to pipe some? Sh- I'll let that cool down, actually. Off you go, chef. Off you go. Do you want to pipe some? Yeah. Yeah. Do you want me to show you one? A little bit less mango. Because just like that, yeah? Then you're going to put a lid on. And then just let it naturally fall onto it. You don't need to be too artistic. You always... They're all going to go down the same way, aren't they? Takes time. That's right. Sweet. And while the guys are doing that one, I'll finish off the tarts. So our crumb pat's just made. I just need to cool it down a bit. Lovely. Then we're going to use that fresh fruit here at the front, which I spoke about. It's literally the grandelia. It's You can't really seal it, but it's translucent. Do you want me it's to absolutely some out amazing. You know, yeah. Okay. I'll, it's all right, I can just use this sure, spoon, yeah. Sure, sure. Yeah. Okay, you'll get to try this in a minute. It's delicious. <laughs> How are we looking? It's lovely. lovely. Put a bit more mousse in. You've been, you've been a bit stingy. Me? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Come here. Yeah, come here. Don't Let's be shy, Chef. Go for it. Go for it. That's it, look. There you are. All right. Uh, brilliant. Right, and then we're going to do some pineapple ones, yeah? Very so good. put some lids on prints lids like on that. Prints. Yep. Any questions that you want to ask, Ellie? And then Does anybody we're going to do ask some question? pineapple ones, yeah? Are you all okay? You right, sure? So put yeah, put your hand up if you do. Yeah, we're going to do pineapple and coconut. And I will come to you with a microphone and you can sort of ask her a nice question. Oh. No, that's... Yeah, Are that's you all fine. enjoying the show anyway? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a good show, isn't it? I know this is my fourth year of doing it, and I've seen it get better, and I've seen it grow. Uh, and it, it, you know, and thank you to you guys for coming and watch it, and encouraging the students, and also encouraging Ellie because it <laughs> it is nerve wracking doing demos. Yeah. So thank you very much as well. And then we're gonna. And obviously, send them thank round. you to all the yeah, sponsors, and especially Pro Columbia for this for sponsoring the fruit for us. Thank you very much. So this is a coconut mousse that we were talking about. Thank you. There you go. Lovely. Then we just need to... Won't be long and then you'll be able to eat them. Yeah. 
The proof is in the pudding, as they say, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Prince is going to come round and share him out? Yeah. Aren't you, Prince? Yeah. <laughs> of course you are, aren't you, Prince? Yeah. So you've got some coconut ones and some passion fruit ones, yeah? And then we're going to finish off the tarts as well. So there's quite a lot for everyone to try. That should be loads. Dead on time. Right, go on then, darling. Off Dead on time, Ellie. Well done. Brilliant. Give her a round of applause, Woo! everyone. Way. Well done. Thank you. Hello. Yeah, you can try that. This is a little bit hot, but... Yeah, keep going, keep going for it. Keep going for it. Obviously We're going to do you some little tartlets as well. Ellie's just going to put some of those together now. Obviously, the creme pass a little warm, but ideally you would let this chill. Yeah, it's fine. I need some mango on top of this now and some seeds. And then get some um, fissilis or whatever they're called. And we're going to chuck that on the top. So thank you, Ellie. Thank you for a nice demo and I wish you all the best no for the worries. future as always. Yeah, get the seeds first. Right, yeah. So look, 